Hey guys, what's up? My name is Megan Prosser and I look crazy today. Here we go. This is my video for today. We're just going to start doing my video for today. <laughs> Help. Today's video is going to be my five best tips to stop pulling out your hair. So this is for um, all the hair pullers out there again. And if you just want to become like more informed on hair pulling and how we like to stop pulling out our hair, definitely keep watching. That's cool too. But um, this will definitely benefit people who pull out their hair. So if you want to learn all the best tips and tricks to stop pulling out your hair, keep on watching. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Tip number one is fake nails. So you can just go to CVS, Rite Aid, um, Walgreens, wherever, Target, wherever you want, and just get those like um, fake nails, like the acrylic ones that you just like glue on. They only last, like the longest mine have ever lasted, like for, like five days. If you don't like them, they're gonna fall off eventually, but they really help to stop pulling out your eyelashes and your eyebrows. I don't know exactly why, it's just so much hard. Like when, right now I have like no nails, so when my nails are like nice and short, I can like really get to the root. But when I have the like acrylic nails, they like stop here and I'm like, <sighs> especially with, like with your eyelashes, the nails sometimes like poke your eyes. So that's not fun. So you just don't want to do it. If you want them to last longer, you can definitely go to like the nail salon and get the nail extensions and those will last a good like two to three weeks. So that's pretty cool too. It does cost more money. Last time I went to get them done at the salon, it was $50. So it does it's more costly, but it lasts longer and they look nicer. Tip number two. So tip number two is going to be headbands. This is for all you on scalp hair pullers out there. Headbands are freaking awesome. I actually brought two examples of headbands that I will use. So this is one of the long, long headbands. And um, this one is this type of headband that says like you can use it as like a shirt, a scarf, a hair tie, um, a headband. It has like a million different things you can use them as. So um, you probably find them. I found these ones in like Rite Aid, CVS, um, but they're all over online too. You can buy like a pack of 12 for super cheap. So these are awesome. I'll show you what they look like on. You look crazy, but it's the best. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes! <laughs> Sometimes I put these on, since, since I'm like bald now, I'm like, wow, it feels like I have hair. Like, it's so weird to feel this right now. It's like, it's like my little hair. <laughs> but as you can see, it covers everything. So that helps me a lot. A next headband example I'm going to show you is just, it's basically the same thing as that, but I cut it so that it's shorter. And when I had hair, I used to wear these out. I would just put it on my head like this basically so it covered like the top and it goes all around so yeah so I used to wear these like this and then my hair would obviously be out in the back and it just helped me when I was actually out in the world to not pull because for some reason whenever I feel the headband on my head I know like don't go up there obviously sometimes I would like I would pull with a headband in but they help a lot to prevent it tip number three Next tip to stop pulling out your hair is castor oil. Um, this will work with any oil really. You can use coconut oil, castor oil, rosemary oil. There's like a bunch of different oils you can use and all of them are really great for hair growth. My personal one I like to use though is castor oil because it's so thick and sticky that I really don't want to touch my hair when I have castor oil in. And castor oil is amazing. You can put it on your hair, your eyelashes, your eyebrows, even your skin. I've been putting it on my skin and like, been looking pretty good <laughs> so it's great for to not touch your hair and to regrow your hair that's how I've been growing regrowing this monster there's currently cover-up on it and I'll add in a picture actually right here of what it looks like without cover-up it looks kind of similar I just have this stupid line that shows but yeah basically castor oil over the past two months has been helping me grow this out so much so it's great <laughs> tip number four <laughs> My fourth tip is going to be logging your pulling. Um, there's a great app for this. TrickStop is a great 
great way to help you stop pulling out your hair. If you don't have a mobile device to download the app, you can just do this in a notebook. Okay, so when you first open up the app, I'm gonna put everything over here. It just basically says new entry, view entries, display data, settings, client login, yada, yada, yada. But basically what you'll be using mostly is the new entry, which is at the top. And when you click on that, it comes with the date, the time, and then there's a situation part where you can make a custom situation or they have situations already made, such as at work desk, doing homework, driving, grooming, in a meeting, in front of mirror, blah, blah, blah. Or you can make a custom one of what the situation you were in um, while you were pulling out your hair. Then there's a little dial where you can pull up the urge intensity and it goes from zero all the way to 10. You write down thoughts and feelings during urge. Did you pull, yes or no? How long did you pull for? Where you pulled? The thoughts and feelings after you pulled. So you log all of that data in and after like a week basically, you'll have so much data and it's all logged. So you can look back and basically the point of the app is, is to see when, like what time you pull the most at, where you pull the most, what the situation is when you pull the most, like do you pull more on this day, this day, like it just basically logs it so you have more, it helps you learn more about yourself and why you pull, when you pull, what's going on and everything. So it's really, really great. So I will share with you some of my data. So you go back to the home page and it says display data. And then when you click on display data, there's a page that has links you can click on and their urges per day, pull episodes per day, minutes spent pulling daily, intensity of urges daily, situations during urge, yada, yada, yada. You click on one and it'll give you a whole graph on you basically when you pull what you do blah blah so let's look at my situations during the urge i pull the most when i'm on my phone second most is watching tv um then all the like there's three of them that are all equal which is babysitting doing makeup and moving furniture <laughs> Apparently I do that a lot. <laughs> it's really cool, it's really awesome. I definitely recommend the app and it does help you stop pulling because it helps you avoid situations where you would pull and it honestly just makes you feel better to have like it all logged. Tip number five. Wow. So my final and last tip that I'm gonna include is the Habit Aware Keen bracelet. I've mentioned it before in my first video I ever made, Trigotillomania My Story. I think it helps so much. I should definitely wear it more often than I do because of how good it is, but it also really depends on the person. Some people say it doesn't help them, other people say it does help them, but for me personally, it helps me so much. Basically, when you first get the bracelet, you download an app in your phone, kind of like how you would do with a Fitbit, and you train the bracelet the motion that you do when you pull. It's kind of awkward because you're just like, <laughs> like training it, like this is what I do when I'm pulling. Once it learns all your motions, then it will vibrate every time you do it. It will vibrate like crazy, and the best part is that it won't stop vibrating until you remove it from the situation. So it's just really annoying and you want it to stop. The only con to it is that it is pretty expensive. It is about $150? Let me check. I might be very wrong. Okay, yeah, so I just checked. It is $150. That stinks. That part is annoying because of how expensive it is, but um, if you have the money uh, to invest in it, it definitely is a great investment for my hair personally. It helped me a lot. So yeah, I would definitely look into the Habit of Wear bracelet. Again, I will link everything down below, but that is basically the end of my video. Those are my five best tips on how to stop pulling out your hair. And if you guys have any more tips, definitely comment them down below. Let me know how you guys stop pulling out your hair. We're all on this journey together and we are gonna do it one day. Let's. Let's stop doing the do. <laughs> so, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you on Monday. Okay, bye. <laughs>